Hello again, friends, and welcome into another edition of Wrestling with Rusty right here on YouTube. And as the title says in the video, five million more dollars found by WWE this time in the Vince McMahon hush money payoff scandal. No word on whether WWE is required to turn this information over to the authorities such as the FBI or the Security Exchange Commission, which is also investigating their own issues with Vince McMahon. Hopefully more details will come out of that at a later date. But for this purpose, we won't get into any of that. Uh, today's edition is just letting you know that $5 million has been five five million additional dollars has been paid by Vince McMahon to other women in regards to sexual allegations allegedly and various other issues according to Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer newsletter and for those of you that have not been keeping a calculator that brings the grand total to allegedly an approximate Sixteen and a half million dollars. That is one six point five million dollars. Almost seventeen million dollars of hush money payments paid by Vince McMahon for sex. So my God, he's paid more in millions than most of us would have been able to pay in dollars for sex. Uh, having said that, it couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Back in my day, for those of you that don't understand professional wrestling, Vince McMahon did a lot of things to a lot of bad people to try to run them out of business uh, with the NWA, Jim Crockett Promotions, which I knew the Crockett family personally, some of them, and um, Vince McMahon did not just have a friendly competition he did some dirty tactics and i'm sure he did many other dirty tactics according to what i heard in regards to the ada i mean not ada um awa rather excuse me ada is the americans with disabilities act uh awa is the american wrestling association so i misspoke there and the Vern Gagne family so the troubles that Vince McMahon is currently having, uh, while I feel bad for his family, I do not feel bad for Vince McMahon. And some of the money even went to, uh, I've been told, went to uh, Donald Trump contributions as well. And um, so, I mean, I just don't know what to say about any of this. Hopefully all this gets investigated in a hurry, wrapped up, and we can move on. Because even though I'm enjoying Vince McMahon having all these troubles, nobody deserves it more than Vince McMahon. The truth of the matter is, it's getting kind of old. Uh, whatever is going to come out, let it come out and let the con consequences fall where they may. And let's move on. Personally, I haven't watched consistently WWE programming in more than 25 years. And if you paid me a million dollars, I don't think I could watch WWE programming uh, for one three hour setting. It's that bad because they don't believe in professional wrestling. They believe in sports entertainment. And for those of you that think Triple H is going to bring back pro wrestling, I say I'll believe it when I see it. And until I see it, I'm not going to watch WWE. I watch NWA, and the slogan of the NWA is wrestling the way it's meant to be. Well, the NWA is not perfect, but it's sure as hell beats any sports entertainment program with or without sex money or hush money allegations. Sixteen and a half million dollars. Almost seventeen million dollars. 
to cover up WWE sex scandals. My God, what else is out there? I'm sure we'll hear more in the days and weeks as it becomes available. By the way, uh, if any of you doubt what I'm saying, you can check out this week's uh, Wrestling Observer Newsletter by Dave Meltzer. I don't uh, like Dave's reporting and his opinion on modern wrestling, but in terms of this WWE sex scandal, I got to give Dave credit. He's uh, on top of this. And um, whoever his sources are, are certainly keeping him abreast of that. And I'm sure that the Wall Street Journal will have more on this in the near future as well. As the Wall Street Journal was the first mainstream publication to break the news of the Vince McMahon sex money allegations uh, about a month ago. Uh, hopefully this helps keep Vince McMahon retired forever. But on that issue, we'll just have to wait and see. Repeating again, five million more dollars found to be paid to women, bringing the grand total of sex money, hush, sex hush money allegations, or funds rather paid to sixteen and a half million dollars total. Boy, what a waste of money. That's gonna do it for me, Rusty. I'm out of here. We'll see you next time for another edition of Wrestling with Rusty right here on YouTube. And until we meet again, my friends, happy wrestling. And remember, keep watching the NWA, Billy Corrigan version, wrestling the way it's meant to be. I'll see you next time. Take care, my friends. God bless. Please remember to tell your friends to like the other videos on this channel. Watch the other videos on this channel. And I'll see you next time for more wrestling news right here with Wrestling with Rusty on YouTube. Take care, everybody. Thank you again for watching. Again, $16.5 million paid by Vince McMahon. The latest was $5 million paid to additional women, bringing the total to $16.5 million. Good Lord, what else is coming out? Stay tuned. Thanks, everybody.